Hello and welcome to my 11 plus maths exam videos. Um, these questions have been taken from the 11 plus practice papers. They are the CEM papers and it's a maths paper. So um, let's get started. I think it says that we have to, we have 13 minutes to complete the following 18 questions. So start the timer. So you can start the timer if you want. Okay. So um, uh, what we do is what is the question in the statement below? The box represents an operation. So it's either of these. So 39 divided by 3 is 13. So it's, it's a division. So if that's division, so here, which of these? So it is D is a division. So it is D division. The symbol, um, uh, the circle represents a number. So circle plus circle is 32. What is the number circle? It is 16. And 16 is given by L16. So it is L. Okay. The next is the machine multiplies by 2 and then adds 3. So input is this, output is what it should be, uh, 2p plus 3. So we will have 2p plus 3. So we have to look here, where's the answer? It's here. It's in f. So f. So uh, an orange cost x pins. And a pair costs y pence. What is the cost in pence of four oranges and three pence? So four oranges will cost four x, and three pairs will cost three y. So that's my answer. So where is this? It's in H. Okay. Neil's older sister Amelia was nine years old when Neil was born. Amelia is now 17 years old. How old is Neil? So Amelia was n years old when n is 0. So if n is Neil and a is Amelia. So now Amelia is 17 years old. So uh, how old is Neil? Neil would be 17 minus n. Okay. The 17 minus n is here, i. Okay, so that's your, what is the value of the expression 4a minus 3b when a is 5 and b is 7? So a is 5, 4 times 5 is 20 minus, uh, it was 20 minus, B is 7, so 3 times 7 is 21. So my answer is minus 1, so it is S. Then two numbers, P and Q, have a sum of 14 and a difference of 2. What is a larger number? Two numbers, P and Q, have a sum of 14. So P plus Q equals 14 and a difference of 2. So P minus Q equals 2. So if you add them together, so if you treat them like a simultaneous equation, you add them together, you get 2p equals 16, so p equals 8. So what is a, if p equals 8, then q equals 6, okay, because 8 minus 6 is 2, so uh, the larger number is 8. And 8 is D equals A. So that's it. Then 8, the symbols, hash, and S, and at the rate, represent two integers or whole numbers. So, plus hash equals 60 and minus hash equals 7. It's not plus, sorry, it's multiplication. So 
this what times what is 60 if you look at the factors of 60 you will get 5 and 12 5 times 12 is 60 so 5 times 12 is 60 and 12 minus 5 is 7 so what is the value of at the rate plus asterisk it is 12 plus 5 that is 17 so that is in B so it should be then it should, yeah B. B what is the missing number in the sequence so we have 1, 7, 13, 25. So this is 1 plus uh, 6 is 7. 7 plus 6 is 13. So it's a difference of 6. Okay. So and then we get 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 6 is 13. 13 plus 6 is 18. 19. Sorry. 19 and then 19 plus 6 is 25 so this is 19 19 and there is 19 it's in p so 19 is in p okay the next question is choose your answer answers to questions 10 to 18 from the table below no option may be used more than once. Okay, for each question 10 to 14, solve the equation to find the value of A. A plus 3 is 9, so A should be 9 minus 3, that is 6, so which is B. A is 9 plus 3, that is 12. 12 is M. 12 is M. Then the number 12 is saying 3a plus 3 is 18. So 3a equals 18 minus 3, that's 15. a equals 5. So a equals 5, which is 5 is here, which is d. Okay, then 2a minus 3 is 15, so 2a is 18. So a is 9. 9 is given here, J. So 12 is, yeah, DJ. So then 2 times 2A plus 3 is 22. 2A plus 3 is 22. So 2A plus 3 is 22 divided by 211. 2A is 8, A is 4. So A is 4, that means L, okay, then questions 15 to 18 are connected with the patterns below. So what are, um, we have to do pattern 1, side length is 3 units, perimeter is 9 unit, 1 dot inside. So I think we need to write this down. So I have pattern 1, that is, if you look at the form A sequence, we have side length. So let us do a sequence of side length. So we have 3, 5, then 7, okay? Then perimeter, perimeter is... 3 times 3 is 9, 5 times 3 is 15, 7 times 3 is 21, and then dots equals 1 and 6, okay, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. So the question is, how many shaded triangles will there be in pattern 5? There are three shaded triangles in all of them, so it's going to be three. It doesn't change. What is the side length of pattern 6? 
So in three, we have to write the letter. What is the side length of pattern six? So this is pattern one, two, three. Then the next side length should be three plus two, five, five plus two, seven. They're all increasing by plus two. So it's plus two, nine, plus two, eleven, plus two, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it is thirteen. And thirteen is in C. Okay. Then what is the perimeter in units of pattern 5? Of pattern 5 is perimeter in units, so it should be, we have to do the multiplication times 3 is 8, is 27, 33, 39. So pattern 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. That is 11 times 3, 33. And 33 is H. Um, okay, so. And 18 is how many dots are there inside the white hexagon in pattern 4? So dots are, what's the next in the series? I have 1, 6, 15. So this is 1 plus 5 plus 9, so they're increasing by 4, then plus 13, so 15 plus 13 is 8, 28, so I get 28 dots, so 28 is E, so E is my answer, so that completes this paper, okay, have a go at it, look at it it doesn't look difficult to me at all so i don't think it will be difficult for you either so have a go it's good practice and thanks for watching bye